Hey Wallet Squad, I'm here to do a reading for the 22nd of February. Today's that beautiful day, the portal day. Beautiful energies supporting your transformation, okay? I've got a brand new deck today, so I'm super excited about it. Let me show you. The Literary Witch's Oracle, okay? New energy. We've got the return of Pluto. Now the Pluto cycle for it to, it takes 248 years. Okay, for the for Pluto to uh, it's so far away, you know, so it's coming into uh, um, into the United States. Okay, um, it's stationed there, and this is this brings us back through historical times and where we were at when Pluto was stationed where it's at year two hundred forty eight years ago, you know, and that was when. Um, you know, there was a lot going on in this country about claiming our independence, period. Okay, so this, it's, it's an important, Pluto is a, t a time of change, a time of transformation, radical change even, okay? So, yeah, it's important that I started today's reading with a brand new deck as well. Um, there's a lot of symbols in this one, as well as historical women um, who were either artists or um, were poets or they wrote beautiful works of, um, and they had a huge impact um, in the world. So let's see what, I love this deck. It's like big playing cards. Um, I'm, they're super sharp around the edges though, so I need to use them a little bit more. Uh, but let's see what wants to come out for the collective today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to all of my followers. Um, thank you for those who are subscribing and for commenting and those for reaching out for personal private readings. Um, I do have maybe a couple spots later this evening I can fit you in if you need a reading today. Uh, these energies are... Today's the day to get a reading, you know, even like over the next few days. So, um, whoa, there's a lot of cards coming out. Um, so definitely hook up with me. Um, all my information's in the box below. So let's see what literary figures, witches we have out today. Um, three of them so far. No symbols yet. Five cards. There's the symbols. Okay. And I'm learning as you're learning, right? Okay. I also have a blue candle lit for today. Um, and you can see that I've done some... In inscribing in the candle okay blue is about patience um serenity and peace okay and that's why i keep light and it's also about emotional healing the blue color um and being able to speak now too um with throat chakras being wide open so today's a beautiful day right like we're all talking about this 222 portal how can you like, what are you doing today for yourself? You know, like, how can you intimately love yourself? How can you embrace your witchy roots is what I'm saying, too. So, like, whatever, like, there's no certain way for you to do things. Like, as a, I feel very much, people look to me, um, like, as a crone, you know, and I'm embracing that as I'm remembering, you know, it's a weird kind of thing. Like, what were you asking me for advice to how to clear your sacral chakra? Like what? Like how, why are you asking me advice to how to do this spell? You know, like it's made me think about things like in a different perspective. I'm like, oh, people see me as this teacher, you know, even if I don't see myself. So, um, I'm going to utilize all the tools that I have in my tool belt in the remembering and, and, and being more gracious with myself, like what's right or what's wrong. No, it's what's in my heart. That's what magic's all about. You know, and that's why I'm showing you this candle today. It's like, did I read a bunch of books about how to do candle magic? No, I'm just doing what seems right to me. Okay. And blue is a color that I've been continuously turning, tuning into for the collective um, blue reminds me of water. Blue reminds me of Archangel Michael. Power, strength, truth, truth, right? That's the blue, right? So yeah, I inscribed my name um, with a heart next to it and the infinity symbol here on the candle, okay? Um, and I used, what I used was I have stick pins, okay? And I just cleansed one in the fire 
right? And then I use that little pin to write in the wax, okay? And then I anointed my candle with oil that I really love. And it's right now I'm using Archangel Uriel oil, okay? They actually have that like in witchy shops. You can get oil from Michael or whatever. You know, like I just have one in it. I tend to put it like if you've received a gift from me, this is the scent that I put on <laughs> the paper on the note inside or whatever because scents are super powerful right now as well. So I anointed my candle. I dressed my candle and then I, I said a prayer before I, you know, hit record and then, you know, and set my attentions for myself, for this candle. I also inscribed 2-22-2022 here, okay? Which is also like a palindrome date or an, like, if you were to write out that date in a, um, in a, like people in Europe, the way they write it, it's almost like if you read it upside down, it would be the same as it was. Yeah, yeah it's a crazy kind of date. <laughs> it's requiring us to see, see things from, a, I, in my messages today, 180 degree turn, 180 degree turn. Because the triangle, the triangle keeps coming in too. I know I'm talking in symbolic shit, but if you're on my same page, you know, the triangle, the equilateral triangle and the other kind of triangles and how we figure out love triangles and three-way situations is coming up. Even in familial, fam like, no, I'm not talking about in a romantic sense either. The three, the mind, heart, and, you know, soul, like the, the, the source of creation, the, the Holy Trinity. I, I can go on and on and on with the threes. Creation. <laughs> I've got three witches out here. I am so out there and I love it. I'm Pisces rising, okay? So I'm since it's Pisces season, I'm telling you what. Like, I am talking in... People look at me, the few people that I talk to in the day, and they look at me like I'm strange as fuck because it's it's deep shit that I talk. And it's always like, I don't know, it's just deep. I got the mushrooms here. Yes! Mushrooms and wall. Mushrooms and wall are the two symbols, okay? So maybe it's a good idea to... Mushrooms are about um, looking at what's underneath a situation, right? Um, medicinal purposes for healing of depression as well. Your interconnectedness with everything. Out of what has died grows new. Growth is the new, Right? Okay, and you've got, somebody's got some walls up, walls around their heart, possibly, okay? Um, uh, feeling a need to protect yourself as well, a resistance to change with the wall, okay? Let's see what the witches are about, because those are the ones that we're going to have to read about here. Okay, Zora Neil Hurston, and this one is about telling your story, story says on the bottom there. Love the imagery in these new cards. Okay, so let's see what that one's about. And they're not alphabetical, so just bear with me. At least it's not a big, huge book. Here it is. Okay, I've got rabbit symbolism there as well. And skull symbolism, okay? Talking about rebirth and new changes, okay? Your story, the stories of others, and listening, okay? When she wasn't writing lush fiction about black women owning themselves, Zora, um, and it gives their dates, like if they're still alive, she's already deceased, by the way, 1891 to 1960, was collecting folk tales around the South and journeying to the Caribbean, there, she initiated into voodoo, once by boiling a live black cat and passing its bones over her lips, and took the first known photograph of a zombie. Hurston fell into obscurity um, even before her death, but she has seen a major revival of 
interest in recent decades among readers, feminists, and critics as key figures to the Harlem Renaissance. Okay. And then we've got Anne Carson, The Intellect. These pictures are fascinating. Bear with me here because you know how I put all the puzzle pieces together, okay? We're reading about it first and then they will all tie beautifully together. It's all purposeful, darling. Okay? Anne Carson. Okay? Meanings of the card. Um, intellectual growth, delights of the mind, and plague of the mind. Okay? You can see this dark cloud up here. Okay? What and, and the stories. The story is it your story that you're living or the stories of others? And are you listening with an open heart here? Okay. Are you being judgmental of other people's got a wall up, you know, of other people's beliefs? This Shizora went and learned about um, voodoo, okay, in the Caribbean. So yeah. It's almost those those practices, those ancient practices, the rituals and whatnot, and some of them that we fear. And when we really just actually need to learn, we need to see what the under, like the mushroom, you know, the magic mushroom as well. Where what are we? We're afraid of the unknown, right? Right? Okay. So, the intellect. Um, plagues of the mind, delights of the mind. Okay. Anne Carson, um, she's still alive, by the way, born in um, 1950, a prolific writer of poems, essays, and various literary hybrids, works with themes um, of lost family members, love and lust, religion, and the intellectual tradition. The combination of this MacArthur Fellowship recipient's Austri, startling insights and relentless questioning is an awe-inspiring, ex is as awe-inspiring and explosive as the volcanoes she has been known to paint. Carson is also a scholar of ancient Greek and Latin texts and a champion of fellow witches, having uh, translated Sappho and written about Emily uh, Bronte and Virginia Woolf. Okay, what's important here is the volcano symbolism that I did not see. There's a volcano of energy um, coming out of her hand there. You see that? The hand chakra here and here over here with the mudra and the, the all-seeing eye. Okay, um, wow, these are fascinating cards, okay? This need, this, um, I feel it in my throat chakra, but I also, I feel this same energy in my mind. Like there's so much, um, I'm remembering or so much that I want to soak up like a sponge, the pores of the mushroom, kind of like that, that, um, and rabbit holes, the rabbit symbolism that I that 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 came out in that first card. You know, it's very much an energy, and I feel like I need to explode. I'm exploding with knowledge, truth, passion. You know, um, and it's it's um, a lot of my family, does, my blood family especially, does not understand, and that's what's. Um, a coming out in this this card too, but then we've got the the body, and it, it's it's we're learning how the body is such a. Did you see this here? The body, um, what a beautiful instrument it is, right? And how it is our temple, how it is our home. That's where we've this connection, this self self connection. Okay, um, this nurturing that I talked about in the beginning of the reading. Wow, there's such this. It's very nurturing the the energy that's coming from this card, motherly and mother universal energy coming from the card. Uh, joys of the body, sorrows of the body, the senses. It's all of these cards are like a duality. They're expressing duality um, in each one of them. You know, it was the the plagues of the mind and the delights of the mind, right? And this one saying. 
the uh, sorrows of the body and the joys of the body. And I'll be talking about your body talking to you all the time. The pains of your body could also be just trap trauma emotions. Okay, what is your body telling you? Is it stiff? Then move. You know, uh, your body is is so much water. So don't deny it of water as well. Okay. Um, born in a working class Chicago neighborhood to a Mexican father and Mexican American mother, Sandra, uh, born 1954, navigates the richness uh, of both Mexican and American the richness and misogyny of both Mexican and American cultures. She vowed to never marry and to always have a house of her own. Her most famous book, The House on Mango Street, a coming-of-age novel of saturated sensory vignettes, is taught in elementary schools and colleges alike. Make sure to check out her poetry, which, which... Uh, asserts a healthy sexuality and her masterful short stories too. Okay. I feel like relationship roles and within a marriage are also coming up here as well. I mean, she just seems that she's dressed very maternally like in, and, um, but now it's coming out like she just vowed to never marry. Like she had this sacred marriage. Um, within herself. It looks like the all seeing eye right here at the stomach. Okay. And the stomach is our emotional center. Y'all. Okay. So, um. Let's, start, let's let's make sure the wall. I got the wall right. I'm pretty sure that's right. Protection, obstacles, and boundaries. Okay, we'll clarify that one. And then the mushrooms. Um, I love that they have mushrooms. Quiet growth, the hidden, and peace. Okay, so you are growing. You're growing by leaps and bounds. You never see your own growth right in the middle of it, by the way. Y'all know this, right? Y'all, come on. You know this, right? Clarify Zora um, Neil Harrison, the story. Time to tell your story. Time to use your intellect. Time to... It's it, the intellect and the body. It, it's it's like we what we've been working on over the last, oh, at least four or five months is this connection between the heart and the mind. Okay. And you really can see that it play out in the energy and the situations and the people that come into your life. You can see if there's a storm there, you can see if it's, you know, is there a peaceful harmonic balance there? You know, okay. The seven of swords is the story. Who's telling a story? <laughs> okay. Is this their story or your story? Is somebody hiding something from you? This is that card about deception. Okay. King of Wands, uh, reverse. Okay. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. What is, um, Ann Carson about? The intellect, the plagues of the mind. Whoa. The delights of the mind. King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Okay. You are plagued in your mind about, well, they're both reverse, about your worth and about love. Okay, Feeling like your blessings are never going to come. Feeling like you never have enough. Okay. Feeling lost, disappointed, not feeling worthy inside. Okay. And it's, it's, these are the times that you've got to go within and find your, uh, heal some of these aspects. You know, I pray, I pray for healing in my mind. You know, my heart is open to receiving love. Okay. But I got to know what's hidden. What's hidden. What, why don't I feel worthy? You know, why don't I all in divine timing? Your blessings are coming. Okay. Work on the stuff underneath. Protect yourself at this time. You're learning about your worth. Okay. This is a spiritual journey. The Hierophant coming out there. Okay. Especially this year. This year is about connections. Okay. What is this, uh, your body about? Sandra Cicernos. 
So Neros, it's about celebrating you. Being about public recognition as well. The Six of Wands. Oh, I just love this Six of Wands in this deck. And mess things are going to move forward very quickly with the Eight of Wands coming out too. Lots of fire energy. All, wands, wands. Okay. Look at this Six of Wands. Look what's in the bubble. Like this this sorcerer right here has got the devil's head in the bubble. Like like being protected from that energy. Blessings. Being showered with blessings. Okay. And because you know that the it's it's been in the mind. Okay. You are love, darlings. Shower yourself with love and praise today. Okay. Lots of action coming. Okay. This was the start of these beautiful changes that are going to happen in, in your life this year. Um, and they're coming quick with the eight of wands. What did I do? Yeah. King of cups energy underneath. Okay. Could be speaking to a uh, water sign in your life where you could have water in your chart. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It is Pisces season. This King of Cups is emotionally balanced. Okay? Look at the storm that he rides upon on his throne. And he stays centered. Okay? He realizes what his emotions tell him in his body as well. Okay? He trusts his intuition through the storm. Okay? He's highly nurturing. He knows he's got to fill up his own cup first. Okay? And Page of Pentacles reversed underneath that. Okay. So, so could be some delays. And patience is called for. Um, what else? Guardian Angel messages today? Oh, they want me to clarify even the mushrooms. Oh. Let's do it. Mushrooms. I'm going to add these um, cards, these symbol cards and do my sign symbol synchronicity readings because I think they're going to work out beautifully in those readings today. Um, what's the mushrooms about? Yeah, you're bored. <laughs> you want to expand your consciousness. <laughs> uh, the mushrooms will help you do that, darling. Okay. See how bored he looks looking at the same thing, sitting in the office looking at the same. I mean, they look like magical tools, but he's just really so just bored. Really wanting to expand. Lots of wands, energy. Okay. Connect with the magic mushroom. Connect with those people who are um, experienced in it. Okay. They can give you the right guidance. Okay. Even a micro dose helps with creativity. <sighs> Just helps with your connection, with feeling connected to Mother Earth as well. Your connection with everything. I've seen it happen. I've seen first timers just. The look of awe and wonder on their face. It's just, it just warms my fucking heart so much. Okay, so what's this wall about? I'm willing to let go of something. <laughs> the world is here. That's the ending and the new beginning. Afraid to let go of the old. Okay? this is uh, The ending is the beginning, darling. Let go. Okay? This wall is circular. This circular here. This portal. Okay? I don't know. You've got the lizard down below on the 400 feet, and that's talking about you can adapt to this new world, to newness, okay? you got to stay in the present moment, though. That's the hummingbird spirit right there, all right? You got to let down your walls, okay, to allow love in as well, okay? Um, yeah underlying energy for pentacles holding on to things so tight you know like surrender like let go four of pentacles is um boxed in energy you know like not moving forward staying in one place holding on to your money not willing to like invest or let go of it you know this is trying to teach you giving is receiving okay Everything you want is yours. It's coming to you, okay? Let go, let God. It's coming out in this. Let your angels help you, okay? Now let's get some guardian angels for the collective today. Guardian angels. Okay. Three of them. This one's upright. You are a star. Yay! Believe in yourself. You are a wonder of creation. Wash away all fear and discover you are a shining star. Okay, 
We'll tune into some water today, all right? Take a beautiful bath or a shower meditation or go dip in the lake or I don't know. I know it's February, but I'm telling you water is important. A spiritual bath, okay? It says wash away all your fear, okay? Allow all around you to just be. Let go of trying to control life for the life for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love. Remember, stars are born through explosions of love. The explosion of the volcano that came out to begin with, okay? Love illuminates all things. Never forget you are truly a shining star. Yes. Stars. The ancients talking to you, okay? Your galactic team with you, okay? Even possibly seeing a star that's just... You're mesmerized by it, okay? I'm not talking about just in the sky. I always say this. It's maybe somebody that's just got a twinkle in their eye, you know? Okay, two prayers coming out for the collective today. What a rainbow color of energy here. Look at that. Healing to the sacral, healing to the crowns. The upper chakras is here, okay? Prayer. Dear God, help me always to remember that this present life is but a fleeting moment with, within eternity. Help me always to remember that this life is but a dream. Help me always to remember that you can exist within everyone and everything. Help me always to remember that love is all there is and all else is an illusion. This one's been coming out quite a bit. I think I've read it three or four times over the last few weeks. Dear Guardian Angel, help me to believe that all is possible through love. Help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring, fulfilling life. Help me to feel God's presence in every moment. Help me love eternally loved. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always by my side. Be more grateful. Be more thankful. How you pray for others, pray that way for yourself. Bless yourself. I'm telling you it works. Love yourself intimately, tenderly, um, and with some radical passion today. Okay? You deserve it. It's a beautiful, powerful portal day, okay? I love you. Um, I'm going to be busy today doing lots of private readings. But remember, you, I still have some availability tonight and tomorrow. So if you need your own reading, reach out. And give me some love down below if you enjoyed it. I love when you do a timestamp or tell me when the reading resonated the most for you. But just even a comment, even an emoji. Yeah, your donations have been so, I'm so fucking grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you.